Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Last episode, we built uh, this little cozy bedroom that I think is uh, quite lovely. Uh, we spent some time doing some things. You guys uh, told me that um, armor stands uh, for w would look really good with armor trim on them. Uh, and I think that's a great idea. The thing is, I don't actually have any armor stands or any armor trim. And I don't believe that there is an armor trim shop yet uh, available. I don't think that shop is actually open yet. So, uh, Rip. Also, um, last episode there were some noises at the end of the video. I thought some of the other hermits were talking to me. Turns out it's Cub's Horn Shop. And uh, I can hear them all the way from over in my castle. There are, like, uh, custom horns that play little hermit sound bites. And apparently people were messing around with the horns. And that is the noise that I heard. <laughs> I thought it, I, I thought I was losing my mind, um, but yeah, it's the horn shop, uh, and because they have such a large range on them, you can actually hear them from all the way over in my castle. So, yeah, um, how very exciting! Uh, so today, what I want to do is a bunch of little odd jobs, um, kind of around the castle, little things. Uh, I want to clean up a few different areas of the castle that right now uh, need a little bit of fixing, like this spot, for example, right here. This does not look particularly good, uh, so I want to make sure we do something about that. And there's a couple other similar areas as well that I just want to do some little things. We'll do, uh, I think we'll maybe do this first one together. Maybe we'll end up doing them all together. I don't know. We'll see. Um... Let me just grab a few things here. We're going to need some red terracotta and probably some, hmm, probably some spruce wood, I think. Oh, I don't have any stairs. Um, what happened to all of my stairs? Oh, you know what? I bet I left them up in the tower. Yeah. Yeah, I bet they're still all up in the, uh the tower where we um, uh, were working last episode in the bedroom. Uh, but I need some tough probably as well. We'll just grab a, a few different tough blocks um, just to mess around with. That should do it. Okay, so uh, let's head back up there. And we'll get to work on this. It should be a pretty simple little, uh, little bit, uh, but it will help. You know, the thing with the castle is there's so many little areas that need uh, a little uh, that need work. So I think first thing we're going to do is just kind of make this a flat wall. Uh, and then I'm going to need some torches. I think, yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I left a bunch of stuff in here um, when we did the bedroom and looks like torches and all of our spruce wood are exactly where I thought they were. So that's fine. I'll, I, I also need to uh, empty that chest and put that stuff in the storage room where it belongs. Uh, but let's throw a torch up there just to keep it from being spawnable. And then just to keep this simple, I'm thinking we just go with like a slab ceiling like this. Nothing fancy at all. And maybe, I mean, we do want to keep this lip right here as kind of um, yeah, like on a different plane of depth. But maybe a little slope to the ceiling could look nice. Or maybe, you know what, maybe we just make it a, a nice even half slab slope. Just something like that. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and then what if we do some polished tough walls? What if we do that? Mm, no. Don't like that. But I think I like this with just the two uh, sort of pillars on either side. Uh, I think that uh, that looks pretty nice. So, yeah, that'll work. Uh, that takes care of that area quite nicely, I think. Um, so, yeah, on to the next project. So last night was actually kind of a monumentous occasion for me. Um, as some of you know, I got into D&D &D, uh, a while back, and I've been playing in a Curse of Strahd campaign, which was one of the first campaigns I ever played in uh, when I first started. Like, I think I started playing D&D, &D, and like two months later, I joined a, a Curse of Strahd campaign. Uh, 
which I joined because I remember hearing Joe Hills talking about it. I, I remember, I think it was season six, maybe seven, that he built Castle Ravenloft as his base, uh, which is the, the the big castle from Curse of Strahd. Uh, but it was it's one of those campaigns that's like even people outside of D&D have often heard of Curse of Strahd. So I was like, well, it's got to be one of the best campaigns ever, so I should play it. So I started playing in a Curse of Strahd campaign, and this would have been uh, about a year and a half ago at this point. Um, that is not what I meant to do. Uh, <laughs> I did not mean to make polished. It's fine. Can I turn these back into bricks? Yes. Good. Okay. Uh, anyway, so last night, the group that I was playing in, uh, we finished it. We finished Curse of Strahd last night. Um, the, the, we completed the campaign. It's the first uh, D&D campaign that I've actually completed all the way to its full proper conclusion. Uh, I've played in a number of other campaigns. They just uh, either fizzled out or uh, there was one that ended a little earlier very, very abruptly uh, because we may or may not have accidentally brought about the apocalypse. Uh, that's a story for another time. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, it was, it's pretty exciting. Kind of bittersweet. Um, the campaign lasted for about a year altogether. Um, uh, I'm trying to figure out how I can do this room. I know I want this to lead up there. The problem is we've got this roof bit here that kind of messes with stuff. I might have to just do ladders as much as I don't want to do that. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I mean, I suppose we could just have this wall be red. Like that wouldn't be the end of the world. Right? Like, you could just do something like this, and then we can figure out this space uh, afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's probably the way to go. Um, anyway, so yeah, campaign lasted for about a year and a half. It was 46 sessions altogether. Um of uh, roughly four hours each we played every week. Uh, obviously, sometimes you have to cancel because uh, real life stuff. It's just a group I found on Reddit. Um, it was uh, myself, two other players, the DM, and then the DM's wife, who ended up leaving about halfway through the campaign because her work set, uh, her work schedule changed like midway through. Uh, so she was with us for like the first half of it, give or take, and then uh, disappeared, uh, never to return again. Um, but yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. It was very interesting. Um, I played a Hexblade Paladin uh, for the first little bit of the campaign, but then he died super early uh, to I, I won't spoil anything because I'm sure some of you have either not played Curse of Strahd or um, are maybe even in the middle of playing Curse of Strahd right now. So I don't want to I don't want to post a bunch of spoilers and stuff, um, but um yeah, I died at a, 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 what is apparently a very common spot that uh, many parties uh, run into trouble. Um, so my paladin died, and then I ended up playing a swashbuckler rogue battlemaster fighter hexblade multiclass for the rest of the campaign. Um, but yeah, it was a good time. Um, we had, uh, you know, it's kind of bittersweet. I'm glad that the campaign is over, for sure, um, just because it's... You know, I, I I was kind of at the point where I was ready to retire the character and, you know, like a year and a half is a long time. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that uh, things that I'm able to uh, to have a little bit more free time throughout the week and uh, move on to new adventures and all that other kind of stuff. But at the same time, it's still kind of bittersweet because like I spent an hour, uh, I, I spent like a year, you know, playing with uh, with this character and these people and. Uh, we had a good time, and uh, yeah, it was really good. But yeah, we did uh, we did defeat uh, the Lord of Darkness himself, um, <laughs> and uh, along with a few other things, uh, the the DM added in some 
third party and uh, homebrew content into it as well. We didn't just run it strictly by the book. Uh, we added in some additional stuff. I think we finished at level 11 when all was said and done. Uh, started at level one. Uh, but yeah, a year and a half of my life went into this uh, this adventure, and it, I'm, it was a good experience. I'm glad it's done, and it's you know it's been quite a journey because when I, as I said earlier, when I first started playing Curse of Strahd, um, it was you know I was pretty much brand new to D and D. I'd only been playing for about uh, I don't know maybe a month or two or something like that, and now um, I DM. Two campaigns of my own. I play in another campaign every Saturday night. Uh, this was so I was in four campaigns a week. Uh, it's now down to three. Um, you know, it's it's been a journey. <laughs> it's been quite the journey, uh, going from uh, you know a, a brand new, bright eyed, bushy tailed D and D player to <laughs> someone who is now uh, a DM and uh, you know knows a lot of stuff and on and on and on. You know, I'm, I'm now a, a seasoned, hardened D and D veteran, I guess you would say. <laughs> but yeah, it was a good, it was a great experience. I'm really glad I did it. Um, it was uh, a lot of fun. And, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it's been a big part of my life for like the last year or so. Um, so I'm, I'm glad to see it over with. I'm, I'm glad to have the extra free time and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, a significant chap, uh, a, a sig why are we always one ladder short? <sighs> Game. Why, why, why do you got to do this to me? It's fine. Uh, you know what? Oh, no, I do need the crafting table, because ladders, uh, I also don't have a crafting table on me. Okay, well, look how prepared I am, my friends. It's fine. Uh, we'll just make some sticks and make a few more ladders. Um, but yeah, a significant chapter of my life has come to a conclusion. Uh, it's been... Uh, an, an interesting adventure, and uh, it, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, so, uh, if any of you have ever been interested in D and D, uh, but have never actually tried it, never played it, uh, I encourage you to give it a go. Uh, you know, run. Uh, don't don't start with Curse of Strahd though. Uh, <laughs> uh, find find a uh, find a DM who uh, is interested in introducing new players to the game, and have them do like a little one shot. You know, like a little one off session or something like that, or a very short adventure, so you can kind of dip your feet in uh, and see if it's something you actually like, or if uh, it's something that you're like, yeah, I don't want to commit a year and a half of my life to this thing. So I don't know. I had a good time with it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to keep working on uh, this little tower area here um, because we do need to make the whole castle accessible and uh, I think that will be doable. I, you know what I suppose I could do is I could drop the ceiling here by one. I think I actually like that idea. I don't suppose I can reach... I can totally reach. I can just chill on the ladder right here and do this. That will totally work. And that way uh, it looks a little bit better because we don't have some of the... Ch yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's good. And then I'll need to find a way to decorate all of this. Maybe a big painting here or something. Although Minecraft needs more... In fact, I don't think there are any. Minecraft needs three by three paintings. Like, desperately. And maybe like a three by four painting. Or a th maybe even like three by five, but definitely three by three paintings. Because uh, right now we've got two by one, we've got one by one, we've got one by two, and then I think the next step up is like four by four. And we need odd numbered paintings. Because uh, the reasons. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep working on this little room a little bit. I'll see what I can come up with, clean it up a little bit, make it look a little bit prettier. And then uh, I'll let you know how it goes. I find myself in need of some flowers. And uh, there is now a flower shop in the shopping district. I don't know off the top of my head whose shop this actually is. Uh, but it's like this little truck 
thing. And if you pop in here, uh, it's one diamond per 16. So I think I'm going to get a couple of blue orchids. In fact, you know what? Let's just get a stack of blue orchids because I will use those all the time. And then it looks like it's flowers and dyes. Um, I think, yeah, this is all dyes. I was really hoping to find the, I think they're called like, oh, here they are. One diamond per stack. Oh, fantastic. I want more of those as well. These are uh, also really good in flower pots. Cool. Okay. So wanted to get some flowers so that we can use them for decorations around the base. I find that these ones, the blue orchids and then birch saplings are what I really like to use for the most part um, when it comes to just putting things in flower pots. Okay, I think I got the room all done, and uh, this is what we came up with. It's pretty straightforward. I just decided to put some shelves up on the wall here through a little painting, and then just filled the shelves with uh, various stuff, chests through a crafting bench up here, some flower pots and things like that, a lantern, a lantern. Um, I'll be honest, I totally forgot until just now that we now have these large pots in the game as well, and these are great. You can use them, uh, they make awesome uh like planter pots uh for if you want to put leaves on top because you can still kind of see like the little opening the, the mouth of it or whatever um but barely it's mostly covered up by the leaves and then the other cool thing you can do with them too is you can take a regular flower pot and put it here and then put a flower in it so you can get kind of like a, a uh, an overly large uh planter thing as well you can do some cool stuff with this uh but for now i think i just like the leaves to give us sort of this nice sort of feeling as you go up quiet riley um but yeah that is this room and i think i'm happy with it it's real simple but it makes this space feel used and lived in <laughs> There's lots of uh, light and all that kind of stuff. And most importantly, we now have a way up to the second floor of the tower. So, mission accomplished. So, basically, I just need a whole mess of bookshelves. And yeah, that, sure. as there is no bookshelf shop uh, currently, um, easiest way is probably just villagers. Um, and I know that yeah. you, you you yoinked all the villagers from the uh, the village over there. So. Not yoink all the villagers. Doc, I, 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 you most of them, and Doc killed them. So you know. Okay, fair but, enough. Uh, well, you, you, you okay. saved them from uh, murder, then. Um, yes. <laughs> ah, over here. Yeah, I would never have found this. Okay, got it. <laughs> it does meld quite nicely, and there's not a lot of them. I've got book top books. Um, so one, two. Oh man, they're find so expensive few. too. They're, it's a very expensive shop. Do you need some? Do you need some emeralds? I will, yeah. Unless I want to spend the next three days of my life just farming emeralds. <laughs> Take uh, stack. All right. Thank there you. you. Go. That should. Uh, oh. That'll. That'll work. That'll get me a stack of books. That'll work. If you need any more, just shout. I'll. Okay. Awesome. Will do. This. This should hopefully take care of it. Yeah. Um, no problem. You're good. You're good. Let's see. This what do you guy. Need them yeah. For he anyway. Had... He had bookshelves. Uh, I'm sorry. Say that again, Cliff. Uh, what are you What are you doing? Are you making like a library or something? I'm uh, I'm decorating my castle. Oh, puppy. Um. Yep. Yep. That was Riley. He says hi. Uh, hi. <laughs> this one, I think, is the cheapest of the books, but uh, I don't think that has any effect on bookshelves. No. So. No, it doesn't. Looks like it's nine emeralds, pretty much across the board. Per yeah. bookshelf. Okay. But but yeah, this will well, work. That's uh, I I shouldn't. This will get me a stack, so that should be enough. <laughs> um, all right. I'll catch until, you later. All right. Thanks, Cleo. Appreciate it. No problem. Okay. I think the next step for the castle is I want to put in an enchanting room, uh, but I want to make it all pretty and decorative, and not just uh, be you know a real basic enchanting room. And this should actually be the perfect amount of space right here. So we'll put our enchanting table down here. I'm going to break this. Um, let's do something here with the ceiling. 
Uh, let me just pillar up a little bit. There we go. And let's do just like a single cross beam, like so. And then do we want to go? No, I think we just want to stick with a single beam. Let's fill in the ceiling just a little bit. And then I want to put in some chains so that we can put a lantern in just hanging here like so that'll get us a little bit of light and then bookshelves we need to make sure that we have uh, enough now we could just surround this whole thing but i want to mix in some of these chiseled bookshelves as well because i think that'll look pretty cool and we'll go uh too high instead so let's maybe go like here um Maybe like that. Maybe put one here and one like here, right? And then we should be able to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Perfect. So that will still get us to level 30 enchantments, I believe. It should, anyway. Um, I feel like this lantern is a little bit too uh, a little too low. Let's raise it up by one. Yeah, that's a bit better. So you can walk in here. And I, I wish I had... Uh, you know what? Let's just make uh, a real quick little um, tool of some sort. I don't have a crafting table. That's fine. There we go. We'll just make one. And uh, I also don't have any more sticks. Okay. Uh, let's just make like a wooden shovel real quick just to make sure. Yeah, we do have level 30 in chance. Okay, cool. Uh, I thought we would, but I wanted to be just, uh, I wanted to be certain. Uh, and then I guess just to, oops, uh, I guess just to make sure that these spaces are not spawnable. We'll just throw a slab down in each of these corners. And then, I mean, these bits here are not going to be visible, but um, I really don't want to use a whole bookshelf, uh, but I, I want to use oak wood. I guess I'm going to have to go get some oak. Uh, we are going to need some other stuff in here, though, because you'll need, uh, you know, in an enchanting room, you're going to need uh, a crafting bench, you're going to need a chest to hold your lapis, like all that kind of stuff as well. Uh, and then we'll need to do some decorations on the walls. Uh, in fact, maybe what we could do... Ooh, yeah, 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 I have ideas. Ideas are coming. Uh, it's fine. Let me go grab some oak wood super quick here. And then I think what we can do, uh, I do have chests. Good, good, good. So we need, wow, I am very low on oak wood. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we need some of that. We've got leaves. We've got flower pots. Uh, I should have more bricks somewhere, maybe. Um, what else would I actually need in an enchanting room? Anvils. I will need anvils. This one's damaged, but uh, that'll be something we want. Probably should make another one. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then, you know what? We'll take a stack of lapis with us as well, just to put it in a chest up there. And hopefully that will work. So, to make this all pretty, I think, I wish we had a little bit more floor space in here, but we, we don't, so whatever. Um, let's put a shelf, like, probably this height, I think, up against this wall. We don't want to put it up against the windows, we don't want to block the windows. But something like that, we can put a, a like an anvil here, um, maybe another one here, 
throw a chest there that we can put our lapis into. And then maybe just a crafting bench. Uh, I mean, we, I suppose we could put this up on the shelf as well. Why not? Let's just throw it up there. Sure. I, I think that's fine. And then uh, well, let's put a painting maybe like right here. Just to get something on that wall. And actually, this would be a decent spot for a 2x2 two two painting. Uh, not that one, though. Nor that one. Um, sure. We'll go with that one. That'll be fine. Okay. And then last but not least... We need just some oak to fill in these little bits in the corners here. So that I think will work. And then what we can do is like here, here, we can throw in some flowers. Do I have, I think I put a lot of my flowers and things away. That's fine. We'll use these ones. They'll still look good. Just throw a couple of those in. And there we go. I think we have a nice little enchanting room here. It's functional. It'll work. Uh, it has everything you need. And uh, I think it looks pretty good. So there we go. Uh, but guys, I think that is about all that we have time for in today's episode. Uh, I actually have some backlogging to do. I've got some visitors coming on Thursday. Uh, and they're going to be here for a bit. Uh, for maybe up to a week or so. I don't know exactly how long they're planning on staying, but uh, we'll find out. Uh, so I need to do some backlogging to make sure that there is still Hermitcraft content from me coming out uh, during the time that they're here. So I'm going to wrap up the episode here, guys. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>